Miguel Burchell and Jeremiah Nakatilia had a fight this evening. Wiz, though, in the sixth round, well, at the end of the sixth round, I shall say, the fight was, you know, eventually stopped by the referee as Miguel Burchell was taking a lot of damage from uh, Nakatilia. And um, both guys, they were coming off of losses, I believe. Well, we know Burchell was. But I believe Nakatila was coming off a loss as well. And they both moved up in weight to fight at 135. Now, I know with that loss that came in, people are going to say Miguel Bachel need to retire. And to me, I'm going to say, why should he retire? You know, you should never tell another man to retire because you don't want nobody telling you to retire. You know what I'm saying? If they think something different of you. Now, back to the fight. Jeremiah Nakatili had a good jab starting the fight, and he was just taking it to Miguel Bachel. Bachel um, almost looked to the point like he was gun shy a little bit. And he was standing there, and I know he was doing some upper body movements, but, you know, he, he was throwing like maybe one punch at a time, whereas though his punch output was down in the 30s. Now, this is a guy who usually averages like, 70 plus punches thrown per round when Nakatili kept that jab in his face but Chelp looked a little bit confused and then he was putting combinations together on Burchell but in the, in the fifth round Burchell did wake up and that's the only round I gave him because he started you know fighting back instead of moving backwards he started coming forwards he started going towards Jeremiah Nakatili and giving Nakatili some problems and Nakatili was fighting back in that round but that's the round I actually gave to Burchelt because I thought he did his thing and also Burchelt threw 70 plus punches that round now the, the you know the sixth and final round Nakatili picked up the output again eventually knocking a mouthpiece out of Burchelt mouth put a little combination on Burchelt at the end of the round to the point, I think, once they went back to the corner, the referee had enough, called off the fight, and that was it. So, congratulations to Jeremiah Nakatila. I mean, let's not forget, the man is a puncher. You know, he has a great right hand. My only thing with Nakatila, I just think he needs to learn how to tuck that chin a little bit more. Try to mix it up to the body. Even though he has some good body shots in this fight, I thought he was headhunting a little bit too much, making sure he could try to get Burchell out of there early. But you don't want to do that against an elite fighter because, you know, they're going to make you pay for that. So he just needs to work on his craft a little bit more and then become successful. Now, early in this video, I did say, I don't know why some people would say Miguel Burchell needs to retire. Now, I know they heard Andre Ward saying that, but here's the reason why I say this is why he shouldn't retire. For one, the man is 30 years old. Yes, he has three losses, all three by stoppage. Now, this is his second stoppage. Well, getting stopped in a row because he got a brutal knockout from Oscar Valdez last year. And this time, you know, he's he got stopped, but... He wasn't knocked out cold. You know, he went back to his corner and the referee stopped the fight. Now, another thing, this is the reason why I say he should continue on. Miguel Pichel had a new trainer. He was coming in with a new trainer this time. Yeah, it didn't work out. Cool. But, you know, just a little history lesson here. A guy named Vladimir Klitschko was coming off of two knockout losses, not in a row, but he came off two knockout losses. And um, when he got with legendary trainer, Emmanuel Stewart, his first fight with Emmanuel Stewart, he got stopped again, knocked out again by Layman Brewster. Now, right then and there, there were also people talking like that back in the day, saying that, oh, well, he should just go ahead and retire. He can't take a punch. Well, after his third knockout loss, Vladimir Klitschko's career turned around big time. 
as he started coming off with a string of wins and a lot of them by knockout. So basically with his craft, Emmanuel Stewart, you know, honed his craft and, and added to it and, and told him, you know, told him about the jab, set up the power punches with the jab, you know, and, and they, they, you know, they worked together. So he pretty much brought Vladimir Klitschko to the peak of his career while he was coaching and, you know, until eventually Emmanuel Stewart passed away. Vladimir Klitschko had his last two fights, which ended in defeat. First to Tyson Fury, and then the last one to Anthony Joshua. But by that time, Vladimir Klitschko was pretty much out of his prime anyway. That just goes to show, that's just a little history lesson right there. So I believe Miguel Pachel should continue on with his career. And see how far he could go now here's another reason I say continue on with your career because some of the same people that say well that person should go ahead and retire that's the end of his career they be the first ones complaining about how good the MMA stuff especially the UFC is compared to boxing they would say oh the, you know best fight the best in, 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 in UFC but how so? We got guys in the Hall of Fame in the UFC. They got double-digit losses. Some of them got damn near as many losses as they do wins. And they'll be going to the Hall of Fame. See, we got to get out of that buy you the O, have the zero. And you lose that or you lose like one or two times. Maybe three times your career is over. Nah, we shouldn't, we shouldn't think like that. We should keep pushing for the fights. Elevate the sport a lot more. But that's just my two cents. So I'm out of here. Rate, comment, subscribe. Peace.